Good morning and Sabbath greetings. Mm. War update. You may or may not be aware that uh, a number of uh, weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I declared war on the rest of the world. The Church of Carpe Cruxis deserves nothing less. It's a new church. It's founded on the fact and the truth. I believe that um, we are fulfilling the uh, comment of Jesus, uh, statement of Jesus in Luke 18, 8b, that is where he says, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find faith in all the world? I believe that the church is, uh, are, uh, is a mess. It's uh, a complete mess. It's in need of restoration, which is a complete underlying new start, new beginning. This is the church, true church of Jesus Christ. I believe that this is biblically intended. I've uh, shared about it on the uh, um, uh, during the sermons about Daniel 2, about where we are in uh, the vision of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. I believe it's a time of fulfillment, a time of prophetic fulfillment. I believe I'm an instrument of that, and I've shared about that before. And although it doesn't give me great comfort in doing that, because you say, you know, don't declare, everybody declare themselves and build their own church and uh, self-identify, you've, uh, you know, also there is a time of fulfillment that has to come where an Elijah, uh, uh, Michael, um, uh, a somebody has to step forward and be uh, appointed and anointed by God to be in a certain time and a certain place in order to point the way for the next phase, the next part, the next um, necessary step in God's plan for redemption. It is um, um, biblically um, prescient that, that this time should be Appointed, I believe the gospel has been preached to the ends of the earth. I, I think that's why that one of the re, one of the pointers, the one, one of the needs for that time of transformation to take place. I believe that the uh, I believe it's me because God's told me it's me because the Bible says it's time for for it to be done. There's a need for it to be done. I believe the signs of the other things, the opposition, what the Antichrist and the uh, anti-Christian spirit is doing, and the fulfilment of the enemy's work as well is being done. I believe that the, um, as I've preached as well, that the um, strong delusion has been poured out, is being poured out, has been poured out for the last 150 years, 170 years or so. Uh, on the earth and uh, that's why we're seeing such opposition such turning away such a time as this is it's appointed god is fulfilling our god is fulfilling his plan for the redemption of mankind it is his intent it's been his intent from the beginning to do that we are on that uh train we're on that line it's an inevitability in the history of this world that it will be uh, uh, destroyed that it will be finished that god will finish his work he'll do it because it's who he is it's what he's declared uh, he is faithful he's not a man that he should lie there's all sorts of scripture that will point you and lead you to that way and any true christian believing person should also accept that that's the truth now why would you accept me as that i i, I or why would i put my hand up it's it's his doing i i can't argue with the facts of my life the the, 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 the um, um, meme that says that god does not uh, call the qualified but qualifies the called I, I can't tell you how true that is well i'm trying to tell you how true it is in my life i'm a qualified scientist i'm a qualified engineer I'm a qualified teacher for 15 years. I've taught internationally. I've experienced cultures and things. God has shown me cultures and things across the world. World. I've, I've experienced worship like the Book of Acts. I've experienced uh, societies as they were and as they are. And you can do it too. I mean, I, I honestly believe that, that the nation of Islam has been moved to a position by God that they are... Uh, so much like the uh, Jewish nation of Jesus' day, 
uh, a pe- set of people following rules, even to the some of them following those rules to the, it's like, well, that, that sounds good, but it's not because it's about separation and the affirmation of separation between themselves and the living God through his son, Jesus Christ, who's the only uh, name under heaven by which we can be saved. But my arm's getting tired. Um, uh, um, the fulfillment, the, the the point, and the thing about the war, about its progress, is I'm cut off even more from my family. I'm cut off from my friends. I'm cut off from the people in the churches. I'm cut off from uh, things. I've been rejected by the mainstream churches and. <sighs> As a church of reformation, as a church of, of isolation, of separation from the whole world if need be, in that declaration of war, what's needed then is for me to extend the hand of peace and love and compassion and fellowship and uh, brotherhood and sisterhood if need be for people to come and join with the Church of Carpe Cruxes. There's a website, there's a contact form. If you want to become a member of Church of Carpe Cruxes, you can be. It's a declaration only. But it's also a state of being, a true church, a church that looks at the Bible, you know, through the lens of, of the times that we live in, that, that prevaricates a reading of the Bible in the order we know it was written in. Because the truer fulfillment, the seeking of the most perfect, simple, open, loving relationship with God in the word of God is what it's really about for all of us. It's essential that we come to know and live and relate with our Lord and Savior, Jesus, our maker and creator, our God, because that's that's what life's about. It's what you've been created for. That's our purpose and potential you can say well i can work in this church and that you can join the church of carpe cruxes and still be about that's the whole point that, that that thin vein of gold that goes throughout all the earth goes throughout all of the churches all the peoples that's what's needed and yet the, the solid ground and what we stand on is is, is a true bible believing spirit filled people and the church of carpe cruxes is that let me assure you, every person that comes to, oh yeah, well, I've got my idea, and off they go. And it's not scriptural. Becoming people of scripture, becoming people of truth, becoming people of dedication, becoming people of understanding and shared understanding in that greater relationship with God. It's his mind, it's his qualification, it's his intent to share of that to the fullness. And if you're going through the motions, if you're just, oh, I'm waiting for what's going on, then seek deeper truth. It's available to you. And put him to the test. Fill in that contact form, share your email address, and let's see what God can do. I believe it. I proclaim it. I proclaim that I'm speaking in the wilderness. Come here. If you can physically get here, come here. If you can't, join him where you are. And let us do what the Bible tells us. Give ourselves over to the public reading of Scripture. Give ourselves over to, to proclamation that Jesus is the Christ. Give ourselves over to, to, to asking the Holy Spirit into our lives to be our light and guide and truth and peace and hope and grace and refuge. And, you know, do what God's asked us that we may grow a church and build a church and come together as a people of shared understanding. And, and and directly, you know, focused upon Jesus as our Lord and Saviour and God as the Father as our Creator and Maker and the whole personage of God can, can operate and be set free. He, he wants that. It's his declare, declaration. It's his desire. He could change the world tomorrow on his own. That's what all powerful, all knowing, all seeing can do. It's expressed of that desire to work through me, to work through you. And my declaration is that that mouthpiece part has been given to me for whatever reason that I don't, can't fathom, know or understand. It's his will. It's his way. It's his word. And I proclaim it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed Sabbath. Give glory to God and seek his wisdom in that. And give us a contact. I'll be waiting.